Hello there ExoFighters, it's Haz here and today we're taking a short break from the exosuit guides and focus a little bit more on the opposite aspect of Exoprimal, the dinosaurs. There are lots of dinos in the game from the smallest horse to the largest super bosses and all of them carry amazing designs very much like the beasts from Monster Hunter games with strengths and weaknesses. So in this video we'll go through all the important dinosaurs and talk about specifically their weak spots and how to tackle them. If you're looking for additional Exoprimal guides, consider to subscribe as my channel is full of them and a lot more are coming too in the coming days. So in Exoprimal there are lots of different types of dinosaurs, from the smallest hordes that are easy to deal with but are large in numbers, the elite dinosaurs I like to call them that appear along with the hordes with their special abilities, like the flying or exploding ones, and then we have the large dinosaur bosses with their proper mechanics, patterns and weaknesses you have to figure out to fight them properly, including the Neo T-Rex super boss. As starters, let's immediately take the small hordes out of the list as all of them have their weak spots or their critical spots if you prefer at the same place, their heads, and its standard shooter experience of going for the headshots. Except for maybe the Dino Nikus as these flying hybrid dinosaurs I found to have no weak spots but it also could be just that they are really hard to hit in the head as they're so fast but I don't think they have a weak spot really. But with the small hordes out of the way, let's start with the normal dinosaurs. First, the Pteranodons, these flying dinosaurs are going to be quite annoying, mostly because they're quite evasive, or if you play a flying exosuit, they will keep attacking you in the air and deal significant damage, but fortunately they aren't too hard to deal with. Their weak spot is the head, so they are also easy enemies to deal with, nothing special, and it should be ranged assault characters who focus them down first, but they're also easily stunnable by other characters, especially Witch Doctor with their Neural Rod, and once they're on the ground, they're an easy kill. Next, the Pachycephalosaurus. Now, these cute dudes are still a mystery to me. They are dinosaurs who like to ram their heads into you and knock you off the maps. Their head is the strongest part of their body, so definitely not a weak spot. And with that said, this is the only dinosaur type I could not find a weak spot for, and I believe they don't actually have one either. There are some rumors of people knocking them down and finding a weak spot, but I have never really seen it. I can imagine if a roadblock would stun them, perhaps but they have so low health pool that they usually die before anything like that would happen. They can easily be stopped by most abilities and they have a bit more health, but nothing too crazy. After that, the Dilophosaurus. These funny looking dinos are specialized in poison, so can be quite frustrating if left alive, but fortunately they're also part of the weaker types of dinosaurs and their weakness is quite enormous as it is not only their heads, but also the huge pink ornament they have around their heads. Don't try to play sticks with them and definitely don't let them in your cars if you have an appointment. Okay, so with the small ones out of the way, here comes the big boys. First, the Triceratops. The Triceratops is a large armored dinosaur you obviously don't want to hit the head off as it will deal only one damage, but apparently there's a Monster Hunter easter egg here that you can break their horns off, but it isn't really worth it. The weak spot is on their belly and normally you want to fill their hidden stun meter by attacking their weak spots or applying stun abilities to them with Roadblock or Zephyr that will knock them over and reveal their bellies for a short duration. You can try to time these abilities for their short time windows when the Triceratops stands on their hind legs and reveal their weak spot, so that's when you want to apply as much stun as possible. But dealing damage here also works really well. If your team isn't that great at building the stun meter, then you can still hit the belly from the sides for extra damage, and Barrage and Deadeye are especially good here, as they can shoot their grenades under the Triceratops to inflict large amounts of critical damage. Additionally, characters like Witch Doctor or Vigilant are also excellent at revealing this weak spot, as they can either paralyze or freeze them very fast with their abilities. Next, the Ankylosaurus is a very similar large dino to the Triceratops, as they also have their weak spot on the belly, kind of, but the big difference is that it seems you cannot damage that weak spot while they aren't stunned, so with the Ankylosaurus you want to deal large amounts of damage at once, which will fill their stun meter and turn them over, at which point the majority of their body becomes a weak point and you will want to apply as much burst damage as possible. I recommend using Vigilance Freeze here while they are knocked over to increase the time window you can deal extra damage as they don't stay upside down for way too long. In the next category I will merge the two aggressive dinosaurs, the Cornotaurus and the T-Rex, as they are quite similar in every way, they're very aggressive and their weak spots are also the same, their heads. There isn't much to say about their weak spot all in all, it's their heads. But you can help stun them the usual ways, easiest being Vigilance Freeze, but I also found that Zephyr works really well to keep them knocked down because of their abilities, 
But in the end, I think with these dinosaurs, your best bet is to bring in a roadblock to keep them blocked with your shield. And also, if you have the stun blast module, you can keep them stunned by knocking them down for a really short window of opportunity, at which something like a sky wave can also be useful with their overdrive to stop them. Overall, these dinosaurs are meant to be hard, so it is highly dependent on your personal playstyle or the strategy on how to deal with them. Finally, the Stegosaurus, my favorite design of all the dinosaurs so far for the simple reason that they are not meant to be dangerous to you, but they are strictly crowd-controlled dinosaur that jams all your abilities and slows you down if left alone, which will massively hurt your team, and whenever you fight these bad boys, you better focus them down fast. A Stegosaurus does not have any weak spots by default, you actually have to wait for them to activate their jam ability, at which point the fins on their back starts to glow, since those fins are emitting the energy that blocks your abilities, and these fins become their weak spots. Hit the fins for large amounts of damage, and you'll notice you can also destroy them and eventually disable the jam debuff, so you'll deal with both problems at the same time. Those are all the normal dinosaurs in the game and where you can find their weak spots, now let's go on to the special non-horde type Neosaurs. The gas neosaurs are special explosive variants, as once they are close, they will attempt to blow up and potentially one-shot most exosuits, so you want to stay clear of them. But you can shoot the red glowing blob on their back, as that is their weak spot, but be careful, as that can also trigger the explosion. So I recommend using knockback abilities on them and kill them while they're on the ground to avoid any explosions. I would place the sniper neosaurs in the same category too, as their weakness is also the glowing blob on their back. They have relatively low health, so you can kill them fast, but in case you're one of the more supportive exosuits, you can also shoot the purple orbs around them, as that will disable the projectiles they're trying to shoot at you, so you won't kill them, but at least they won't shoot your allies. These snipers also have freezing versions of them, which I think always take critical damage, but they are so rare this is really hard to confirm right now. If anyone has encountered cryo neosaurs, do let us know in the comments. Next, the Stealth Neosaur. These are invisible assassin dinos and their weakness is that you can see them electrify the air around them while invisible and you can tag them with your mark to keep them tracked. But if you keep shooting them, they will eventually be revealed, at which point they always take critical damage. So with the Stealth ones, make sure to tag them as that will be your greatest tool. It helps both you to track them and also your allies to see where they are. We have two Neosaur variants of the Pteranodon, the Evoker and the Pyroteranodon. These are two really annoying flying dinosaurs, but fortunately they have very easy weak spots, their heads, but note that they have a very large health pool, especially the Pyro Neosaur, which also happen to deal a large amount of damage to your team, so I recommend having a tank exosuit like Roadblock or Krieger when they're around, as they are no joke when they aren't dealt with quickly and those barriers might come very handy to block their explosions. Then we arrive at one of the best designed dinosaurs in the game, the Neo Ankylosaurus, the molten version of the default dinosaur. This fella will lob molten projectiles at you, slam you and also protect itself with a barrier of rocks all the time and at first glance it can be tough to figure out its weak spot but it is a very easy one, the hump on their backs. Shooting the hump is always a critical hit but will eventually be destroyed, which I think also disables their ability to do special attacks and by then you will notice the usual purple blobs on their sides or their belly, which will be the main source of your critical shots. Occasionally you will also see them attempt to charge up for a special attack by raising their tails in the air, those become a weak spot and you should be shooting at them to deal lots of damage but also to prevent them from launching their ultimate attack so don't miss the opportunity. Finally, we arrived at the currently single super boss dinosaur of the game, the Neo T-Rex. The Neo T-Rex is mainly a raid boss, so their greatest weakness is you as the player knowing how to dodge their special attacks and abilities so you don't get one-shotted, which frankly deserves a guide on its own, so that will be another video. But apart from that, you want to be aiming for the purple blobs on their body, as those are the critical hit weak spots you can go for, but be careful as they won't stay around forever and you have to be swapping to different ones. One extremely important weakness of the Neo T-Rex that everyone should know about is that after they're done with the black hole special ability that sucks in all exosuits or while they're shooting their beams, there's a special large blob around their mouth that you should be shooting at as it is their weak spot and also the source of these abilities and by shooting it will stun the Neo T-Rex and interrupt the ability before it would kill your team. So always aim to shoot this purple blob. And with that said, we have arrived at the end of the list of dinosaurs available in the game at launch of Exoprimal. 
These are all the immediate weak spots you should aim for while fighting them and hopefully this video will help you with the task from now on. But know that it is still very early in the game's life and there might be a lot of special mechanics we do not know about yet that could work on dinosaurs, but if anything new comes up, I'll make sure to update and keep you posted. If you know any additional ways to stun or hit weak spots of dinosaurs, please list them below the video, as the more information we can gather as a community, the better for us all. But that is it for another guide for Exoprimal everyone. The Exosuit guides will continue as quickly as I can keep leveling and grinding them, so be patient, but if you have any other topic you'd like a video on, let me know below. Thank you for watching everyone, take care, and I'll see you all the next time.